Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from IBG models and it is molded in 130 second scale, a lot of you um, were asking actually to check this kit, actually I was interested in it as well because I mean the first photos were quite interesting, it is a really detailed kit and it is as far as I remember first release and big scale from this Polish brand. Well now here we have the commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. We are going to open it, check what is hidden inside and of course decide if it's worth our money and if it's like a decent try in a big scale. So first of all box size is surprisingly big, I thought it will be Smaller, but as you can see it is relatively mm, typical size for 130 second scale kits for example from ICM and here you can see comparison with my hand we have beautiful box art here then on the side you can see three marking options don't mind this corner damage it's because of our post service and here we have pictures of the finished model so as you can see it is uh, painted in silver color and you could have seen this photos in a Facebook account of IBG models, but now we are going to take a look at the bare plastic. So this is a top opening box, here is what we have inside. And all sprues are packed into several plastic bags. I can see a lot of small sprues, but we are going to check them one by one in order to take a more detailed look. So here is the first one, this is sealed plastic bag, that's why I'm going to use scissors in order to cut through this and take out the plastic sprue. In the meantime let me remind you that you can support us financially, I mean it is really important, even, uh, even more important at the moment because as you know everything is shut down so we are not that um, I would say freely operating and you can support our cause by pressing the donate button on our website and choosing the amount you would like to send us via PayPal. So here we have first grey plastic sprue, I would say it's interconnection between several sprues and as you can see we have coating parts, we also have some internal elements and this is really surprising as far as I can understand we will get here really detailed interior out of the box so I guess IBG models decided to take a full advantage of the huge size in 130 second scale and copy as many subjects as many items as it was possible but we will check it I mean we'll see it in the assembly manual it will be easier to understand what is actually copied here we have three plastic sprues and one ziplock plastic bag which is really surprising I mean why one was sealed and another one comes in ziplock bag nevertheless uh, here we have separate propeller blades here you can see them, let me open the lenses so that you will be uh, seeing a lighter picture. Um, also a lot of thin parts, but attachment points on them are really reduced to the possible minimum, so it should be relatively easy to separate them and install onto the necessary spot. Let's flip it over, here you can check parts from another side, nothing serious in a good sense, let's say. Next we go on with another plastic sprue, so this one is dedicated to landing gear wheel, we saw this sprue on the first interconnection and landing gear should be, uh, wheel should be glued out of two halves, I wonder if there will be some resin aftermarket but now as you can see it comes with plastic parts. Next we go on with engine sprue, so here it is, as you can see we get quite interesting molding on the cooling area, let's zoom in even closer so that you can see a lot of thin parts, they should stay here so be sure not to break them off, we also have separately molded exhaust and various parts and if you flip it over you can see that these two halves should be combined together and practically it's almost the same parts division as on the smaller kits from the same brand and that's really cool out of the box it looks like a decent detailing so I really doubt that somebody will be displeased with such bonus let's say. Next we go on with another plastic sprue so let's open it and while I'm opening it I would like also to remind you that you can also help us by um, 
sharing this video review with your friends, maybe on your Facebook page or somewhere else, so that more people will see review on our YouTube channel. Next we go on with this plastic sprue which is dedicated to various struts. So here we have wing struts as well as landing gear parts and you can also see this special part which is modeled as a one piece element for the engine bay area. Next we go on with plastic sprue with fuselage cuffs. So again I am quite surprised that this kit or this aircraft kit will be um, really big. Here you can see comparison with my hand. These two fuselage halves are molded without tail section. It will be assembled separately. We have really nice um, detailing. It means recess panel lines and riveting and riveting is raised of course and it is easy to fill with finger. I will zoom in in a second but here I wanted to show you the lower fuselage area and also separate hatch which will be inserted here, which is also cool because you might use it for some build purposes. Let's zoom in. Now you should be able to see what we have on the external surfaces here. And if you flip it over here inside, we also get some detailing. So don't be lazy, spend some time trying to paint these things. It will be worth it because it will be visible through the open cockpit. Okay. Next we go on with another sealed plastic bag. This one as far as I can see is dedicated to wing parts. So again I'm going to cut through it and we will take a closer look in a second. So just give me a moment. There are two plastic frames. This relatively large wing house. So here you can see it. And Pazel P um, 11 had really noticeable wing band, so you can see it here. We also have the rise trivets and also recess panel lines in some places. And if we flip it over here, you can see that we also get the guiding elements here. So these ones are uh, the top halves, and then we also get the lower halves, which come on the same sprue. Again, we have here rise rivets and if you flip it over here you can see some guiding elements which will help you with proper alignment. We also get the separate ailerons. Be sure not to break these thin actuators because otherwise it will be really tricky to fix it. And once again I wanted to show you the external detailing here. I mean it looks quite impressive in 130 second scale. So be sure to play with some uh, pre-shading techniques which will bring out such detailing on your finished model. Next we go on with another sealed plastic bag. Again I'm opening it with scissors. So again I need a few minutes to open it, a few seconds. Okay, again pair of the sprues. So here we have cockpit parts as far as you can see. We also have separately molded tail wing. And cockpit should be also quite detailed even though um, more details will be added with separate PE parts. You will see it further in this video review. And overall molding quality looks fine. I mean even the thinnest parts are molded without any flesh on them. Here you can see tail wings. Actually these are tail fins and also separate rudder and elevators. Everything looks really cool. Here we have ailerons and if you flip it over you can see that they come as a single piece element. Okay. Next canopy. It comes as a single piece port because this aircraft had a, a windshield only. So let's zoom in. Here you can check it. I'm not sure if masks are included. We will see it further in the review. But molding quality here looks good. And I think in the worst case it won't be really difficult to cut through to cut some squarish angor masks for this canopy. Next we have the clear plastic bag resealable one with decals and P frets. So just give me a second to open it. Okay. So first of all P fret. Here it is. 
As you can see it is unpainted P fret but we still get some cockpit parts here they will be handy for fine detailing and some external parts as well here for example you can see seat belts so that's a welcome bonus I would say which will improve detailing and 130 second scale it will be noticed and next we have decals which were printed in tech mode so here they are and as you remember there are three marking options included printing quality looks really cool we have even decals for the instrument panel and here as well so cockpit out of the box it should be really detailed and i think you won't have to add anything if you are fine with such detailing next we go on with assembly manual so let's zoom out a bit now you should be able to see it so that's a typical ibg models brochure we have short history note in polish and english next we go on with parts map here and let me close the lenses okay next we have the uh, paints chart for the interior also decals application guide for the radio and instrument panel and we start assembly all from the engine that's quite interesting layout i would say actually with wheels we start the assembly next we continue with engine a lot of parts to assemble together here we have fuel tank next we work on the cockpit walls here we have cockpit floor then we install various equipment into the fuselage and here we work on the uh, instrument panel here we have rudder pedals which should be assembled out of plastic and p parts quite interesting combo i would say next we assemble some control elements that means the control stick and also install it together with cockpit walls next here we have some of the structural elements for the pilot seat then we join another cockpit wall into the place here we attach various minor elements and note how many PE parts will be used in this process so cockpit should be really detailed out of the box. Next we continue with instrument panel and rear wall. Here we install this cockpit into the fuselage as far as you can see and also we assemble the engine into the place. Then we close fuselage halves together, install another machine gun. Here we assemble the tail section and install the tail wing together with elevators. Then goes rudder. Here we assemble the tail ending gear and tail wing spars. Here you can see installation of the fuel tank. This is quite interesting because it will be installed through the cut out in this lower section. And next we go on with landing gear. Next we install the cooling panel together with propeller section. You install the blades in place. Here we work on the wings from both sides obviously. I wonder what this PE part will be used for. Oh, it's not written here but it should be, I guess it will be used for the machine gun. So it should be repeated from the both sides. Next we continue by installation, actually joining wings together with this middle section and installation on the fuselage. Here you continue by closing various hatches as you can see they are molded separately. And you can actually build them in the open position, which is really cool. It will be useful to expose what is hidden inside. The same goes for the opposite side. And next we install the canopy and target side. And that's pretty much all as far as you can see. Because here we have marking guides which are printed in color. Here is the aircraft from September 1939. Another one from the same date. And here we have one more with um, the same date but here we have quite nice eagle marking while well, this aircraft had something different why i'm a bit confused because i do not see any rigging guide even though this aircraft should have one because it had the interesting antenna system on the aircraft but we do not have any rigging guide here let's go through the pages flip through the pages quickly in order to understand nope nope and again nope that's quite interesting so even though on the box art aircraft is shown with antennas in assembly manual there is nothing said about it so this kit is already available in my opinion it should be a decent choice for this modelers who would like to assemble something different in 130 second scale of course uh, price should be quite reasonable as well so if you are thinking what to assemble in 130 second scale there is not a huge choice um, at the moment so this is 
kit to consider. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this model here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye!